Right, we've uh, got a medical emergency here. I've got a pygmy goat who, uh, who is trying to give birth uh, unsuccessfully. I've had a, a, a bit of an examination and, and it's nothing that I can uh, can help with or deal with. Uh, so I've uh, I've come straight down to uh, to the vets and uh, and we're gonna we're gonna bring her in probably cesarean in and uh, and hope that we can get a kid out alive. So uh, so anything could happen. Isn't she? Yeah. Cover the horse if you can. Right, Rowan's made an initial assessment. He, uh, he agrees with me, it's not coming out the conventional route. Uh, they're prepping up now for a caesarean. Uh, we're just hoping that, uh, that everything goes well, that, uh, that there's a live kid in there and that the whole yeah. process can be a success. We know that Rowan is the best in the business. If this kid's got any chance, it's in the safest hands possible. So, um, if he does it will Right, the goat's totally sedated now. She's really comfortable. She doesn't know a thing about what's happening, which is which is wonderful. Uh, these guys are working professionally, quickly, uh, meticulously. They're making sure that everything's clean. Uh, they're now uh, getting ready to, uh, to to shave the, the site of the of the um, of the wound and. Um, and hopefully uh, get this kid delivered in the in the near future. It's uh, it's a privilege to to witness such professionals at work. So um, we had a feel already, didn't we? And it was really really tight in there. So we haven't really attempted to pull very much because it's just going to traumatise her more. We're just trying to be super efficient and get it straight under anaesthetic. And um, the sooner we get on, the better chance we have of a good outcome, both for mom and the kid, or kids, at this point, it's unknown, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, cool. And then you can do a full scrub after that. Yeah. So just to mark the basis. Yeah. So that is super dilute local anaesthetic, because local anaesthetic is actually toxic to goats. You can only give them a very small amount. Um, we're trying to balance the risk factors here. If we give a little bit, it will just make the anaesthetic smoother. But just being very careful with everything we do. Right, we're ready to go, we're scrubbed up, everyone's ready, uh, the door is nicely sedated, it's the moment of truth. Uh, Rowan's putting the, um, the, the, the cover over her, we will uh, be going in with a scalpel any moment, we're keeping everything crossed. If we could get a live kid out of this situation, it would be wonderful, but we, we want a live mum above all else. I think that's poking out already. She does seem a bit bloated and that can make it a bit more challenging trying to get to where we need to. I've seen that before, Owen, where it effectively it's like keeping a football underwater. It is. And, and it's it, always trying to force back past you, isn't yeah. it? And if it does come out, it can cause problems. You know, you can damage the room, and if it um, is bloated, then it's, it's really not, not easy to move it out of the way. So this, to me, is the most challenging part of the whole thing, is bringing the uterus into a position where we can, where we can operate on it. Once we do that, the rest of it's straightforward. Does want to take that? Right, it's the news we didn't want to hear. Uh, unfortunately, the kid has, uh, has passed away some hours previously. So um, it's, uh, it's a case of now of doing our best to make sure that, that mum makes it. Rowan's going to every, every care to, 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 to make sure that uh, she's got everything she needs and hopefully has the best chance of uh, of surviving this and, and hopefully going on to uh, to have a, a kid next year with uh, hopefully, hopefully a, a happier really ending. Um, so uh, it's, it's, it's not what we wanted, but we're really hopeful um, yeah, that we can save more and um, and bring her home and uh, and hopefully rehabilitate over summer um, and and have a better outcome next year. So it's the last stitch in the. You know, the layers below the skin, and all we're going to do now is the final bit, just close up the skin and then get working up as soon as we can. Oh. Right, as if by magic, uh, the, the mum has, uh, has just woken up. She just literally woke up like snapping your fingers. Um, the, the girls have, have wrapped her horns uh, in bandages so that uh, it doesn't injure herself or them. and. Um, and we're ready for, for home now, so that's wonderful news. Well then, how are you feeling? 
think if we got a mirror, she'd like her own. Yeah. <laughs> Cautiously optimistic. The nurses did a brilliant job there. They, they did. So they're, efficient. All, they're not receiving and the flood. It's on their own. Yeah, I feel like they did most of the work for me, and all <laughs> I did was hold a scalpel blade. But um, she's done pretty well. She's quite bright, and she did just stand up and was walking around for a second there. Um, so I think it's gone as well as it can do so far. But with still a nervous wait, you see so many that go downhill when there's an infection in the uterus um, that we, we can't, um, you know, we can't be overly optimistic. We've just got to wait and see what happens. I think, Rowan, you've done your bit and now it's down to us for the aftercare. Yeah, well, I think it's mainly down to, um, you know, sometimes things are going against you. It's down to whether she can overcome infection. I know she'll get the best care regardless because she's um, with you guys. So we've just got to, you know, we'll all do our best and see what happens, isn't it? Well, thank you ever so much, Rowan. It's, uh, a wonderful effort as always and we're very very grateful yeah no worries and fingers crossed anyway thank you right um a sad job that we've got no no kid to take home but the main thing is that mum's alive we're hoping that that she's she's going to prosper and improve and uh, and and fully recover that's that's what we want now so that she can uh, look forward to the the rest of the summer and um and, and hopefully some some good times ahead so Thanks for watching. Um, not the outcome we would have hoped for, uh, but but you know at least Mum's looking promising and uh, and she's got her head up and she's got a fighting chance.